Ah, we did it. <laughs> Welcome to the Skill Builders Guild. It's Lightroom Live. It's Tuesday night. Uh, internet's strong. There's no caribous running it tonight. <laughs> hopefully you can hear me. Uh, hopefully you can see me too. Uh, I can see you. So where is everybody? Uh, why don't you guys check in? Let me know where you are uh, watching from. Uh, we've got a jam-packed episode tonight. Uh, and actually, I think on the next one, uh, we might have a special guest. Uh, there is a Instagram um, account called RC Cinematics. And he is an excellent, excellent photographer. Has a lot of experience in Lightroom. And I thought it'd be great to have someone else uh, on the stream with me working through some photos together. So we're going to try to organize that uh, for maybe next week. So uh, that could be pretty, pretty, pretty cool, I think, anyway. I uh, hope everyone's having a great week. I know it's only Tuesday, uh, but it's December now. It's almost holiday time again. I uh, hope everyone's being uh, safe and careful out there. And um, still in Utah, <laughs> uh, lots of great places, lots of people checking in. Manila, again. Thank you, CJ, for checking in. Uh, Rhode Island, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, that's where WKRP is. Uh, <laughs> California, Missouri, Spokane. Uh, or is it Spokane? What do you, uh, Washing what do you Spokaneans prefer? <laughs> Is this a Mr. Rogers sweater? No, Mike J. Um, I don't think he wore... Oh, yeah, he did wear zippies. Um, no, just a regular everyday sweater. Uh, but will you be my neighbor? <laughs> uh, birthday week next week. Uh, happy birthday, Ryan Davis. Uh, Portugal. Thank you for checking in, Ricardo. Uh, Big Island Crawlers from Hawaii. Awesome, man. I bet you it's pretty nice out there. Winter break in two and a half weeks for Moose Jaw. That's fantastic. Uh, I'm jealous. I'm very jealous. Uh, are you doing anything or going anywhere fun? Oh, man. Uh, hey, let's, uh, let's take a look at the old Lightroom. How's that sound? I'm just going to pull it up here. And there it is. Um, I got lots of photos this week. I think there were another 15 or, or 16 uh, really good ones in there. Um, so... Without further ado, um, let's start with, um, hmm, should we start with the cover or a thumbnail photo today? Um, that would be a good one to start with, I think. It is amazing. I wish there were comps out here, though, let alone any other crawlers. I'm surprised there aren't more crawlers in Hawaii. Is it because things are so expensive to ship there? I wonder. Uh, five months only in Hawaii. Wow, that's amazing. I'd be there forever. Uh, let's start with Robbie Bobster's uh, Defender. This is the thumbnail. Hey, it looks like he's got a replacement motor in there. <laughs> or is that? No, that's not, a, that's not a replacement motor. Maybe just a compressor or generator or something. Nice looking Defender. Uh, this looks like the new body style. Is this the RC four-wheel drive one? I don't know. Uh, but it's a good-looking truck. Uh, Robbie Bobster has submitted many photos in the past. Always great to see his stuff. Nice-looking photo. Um, lockdown. That's a funny license plate. I approve wholeheartedly. Very nice. Uh, whether that's the... I wonder if that's the Team Raffi. Did Team Raffi do a two-door? Or is that... The RC four-wheel drive one. Hope, hopefully Robbie's here and he can, uh, he can let us know which one that is. Uh, regardless, uh, that's some fine bar work you've done there, sir. Um, I like that a lot. It's a Defender. Ah, that's awesome. Thank, thank you, Joel. Jay, uh, shout out to all the YouTubers uh, helping keep me social in the pandemic. Thanks, Matt, for the live streams. Uh, my pleasure, man. Thank you for watching. Hey, Mark, thanks for the two bucks. Much appreciated. Uh, I sent you in a pic of my red JKU. Did I get it? Uh, probably. I probably did, Mark. I will double check. Uh, I get a lot of emails, a lot of photos. 
I think there was a red JK in there somewhere. I'll double check if it's not uh, uh, in this week because we are dealing with quite a backlog. Uh, we will get to it. I promise. All right. Uh, let's get started on this one. Uh, I'm glad Vijo's watching uh, because what are we going to do first? <laughs> We're cropping. Just a little crop, though. I just wanted to get some of that background out of the top there. That's probably all I'm going to do, maybe a little bit on the bottom just to even it out. A very subtle crop. A crappy crop. <laughs> uh, all right. White balance. I uh, feel like this could be a bit warmer. I don't mind a little bit of yellows in the whites. And what else should we do? Exposure feels pretty good. I'm going to maybe pull it down ever so slightly. Uh, Moose Jaw said, uh, you're looking for an SCX-10 II on a good deal, and for what? Well, Joe, uh, I need to start thinking about my next overhauling series. And I figured that uh, an SCX-10 II, seeing as the three is out now, would be an excellent candidate. And funnily enough, none of the twos that I have uh, are crappy enough to start overhauling at this point. So I'm looking for someone to provide me with one that is in dire need of some upgrades. Hey, Dana, how are you? Crap away, baby. Mo, mo pow, baby. Uh, speaking of mo pow, baby, I'm wearing my donut hat tonight. Uh, Brazen, uh, Brett, you missed nothing. <laughs> I have done two things to this photo so far. Uh, UMG 10 axle slider. No, I'm looking for something with axles, but they don't have to be in good condition. I'm sort of looking for uh, something Josh would start with, <laughs> but you know, not as crappy. Um, adding a little vibrance. I'm going to pull the highlights down a little tiny bit too. Uh, and give our shadows a bit of a punch. Blacks I'm feeling pretty good about. Actually, I'm going to lift those a little tiny bit. Give it a bit more texture and clarity, but not a ton. Red's feeling pretty on point. Could make it orange. <laughs> uh no nathan i didn't check the discord yet today i've been uh i've been slammed it's been a busy day uh do we like that orange i kind of like it i have this strange affinity towards orange now maybe we, <laughs> that should be the theme tonight all trucks orange no, I'm not going to do that. But I think the orange looks pretty good. I doubt that Robbie would approve. Maybe we kind of go somewhere in the middle, though. Not quite red, not quite orange. That's probably where I would go with it, actually. Let's do a little window around the whole thing. This is just a radial... Throw our saturation back to normsies. Hit the exposure a little bit. Hit our texture a little bit more. It's pretty good. Is that a lot different? Yes, it's fairly different. I think the warmth in the whites has helped a lot. Uh, I think I'll do a tiny bit of sort of a, a lower vignette. 
that saturation where it is, lower our exposure a little bit, add some contrast, and there we go. Uh, Big Island Crawlers, you can send, I should have said this earlier, thank you for the reminder. If you want to send a photo, you can send your photos to submissions at scalebuildersguild.com. The email is in the description down below. So uh, send those away and uh, I will correct them live like we're doing right now. And then the following week you get it sent back. You can use it in Instagram. You can use it as your wallpaper on your desktop computing PC. <laughs> or you can uh, get it framed and send it to a friend. Uh, either way, uh, it's just a great way for me to share uh, some of the stuff I do in Lightroom with everybody that watches, and uh, it's a great way to participate. Awesome. Thank you for the submission. I look forward to it. Uh, RC Premium Northwest. Uh, I have a SCX10 Ruby with two long shocks, garbage links, minimal mods, and average wear for an overhauling candidate. Um, yeah, I mean, hey, if you've got a truck that you are interested in selling, um, did I say submission? I meant submissions. Uh, if you've got something you're interested in selling, uh, you can email me at the same email address and I'll I'll pop through there and take a look. Uh, other way, either ways, I think we're good on this one. Let's go full screen for a moment. Oh, what a beautiful truck. Uh, there's the before and after. It's really subtle, not a big difference. I just kind of changed the color a little bit, had a bit of fun with that. Let's actually, you know what? Before we get too far out of it, Let's change the hue and the luminance of those greens. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I said it right. You said it wrong. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Before, after, this is a really subtle one. Not a lot of correction much needed to be changed on that. In fact, just for the heck of it, Play with that red a bit more. I feel like that's probably closer to where we should be. Canyon, this isn't an opportunity for everyone to sell stuff, so uh, you can try, uh, but there are better ways to sell than this live stream, guaranteed. All right, I think that's going to be good. Thank you, Robbie, for your submission. Uh, let's find another truck. My original idea was I'll just do Toyotas today, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, I did get a lot of Toyotas, but not enough to do a whole episode on them. So uh, let's go over to Ryan Davis's photo here. Nice looking Dodge Power Wagon. Looks to be a bit of a performer on a very nice ledge. I really like that photo. That looks really cool. I think we can make it better by doing a few things. Uh, but I think, you know, it's a good looking truck. Uh, that's an element. I can tell by the axles. Uh, yes, Nathan, that was a good list you put together. Thanks for putting that together. Definitely a good one. And I will steal some of those ideas, I promise. I think what we'll do here is we'll make this a little bit more about the truck itself. Um, somewhere in this region, probably. That already, to me, I think uh, is going to be a big improvement. There's a lot of leaves, a lot of tiny leaves. Uh, one of my suggestions that I could make uh, when you are taking your photos, do a quick kick around or, or, or brush or uh, broom or something to move all of these little bits and pieces of leaves out of the way. Uh, it'll make it a lot easier to sell the truck as a real truck when stuff like this isn't in the frame. It just kind of messes with your head a little bit. Uh, but you know, we'll give it a go. Try get rid of some of these things. I think these are these are going to be challenging leaves to get rid of. Uh, that actually worked pretty well, <laughs> better than I was anticipating. Um, this one, I don't. We won't be able to get rid of that one at all. Um, yes, you're right, uh, J Rock. Uh, a good crop can help center your eye and make the truck the focus, which is really what this is about. You still get a nice sense that it's on a cliff or a rock face or something. And by actually removing a lot of that stuff at the bottom of the frame, makes it seem like it could have actually driven up there. So uh, all in all, that's a pretty good, pretty good change, I think. 
Uh, horizon's not off, I don't think. Uh, I think what you're seeing is probably another hillside or mountain in the background. Uh, trees are definitely all over the place, so I don't think that would lead you to believe there's anything wrong there. Uh, but definitely a cool pick. Definitely. I'm going to increase our contrast a little bit so those shadows get a bit richer. Uh, white balance, I'm feeling pretty good about where it is shot. It is a hillside. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I thought it was. Hello, Tostman. How are you, Ta Mr. Todd Ostman? Ben Benavenides? Uh Will that work on the leaves in my garden? No, Ricardo. You're going to have to rake those yourself. There is no clone and remove tool for real life. It's a cliff and you drove it up there. Fantastic. Uh, what I was suggesting, and I wasn't suggesting that you couldn't drive it up there, Ryan. I was just suggesting that by getting rid of some of that lower half of the uh, um, terrain, this makes it a much more dramatic shot. That's what I was getting at. So sorry if that was lost. I, I, I'm not criticizing your driving capabilities. Uh, it's a good looking truck and we're going to make it better. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to paint out this battery or at least uh, darken down that area by reducing our exposure overall and amping up the contrast a bit. I think we can actually get in tighter there. A lot of highlights down. <laughs> All right, cool. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate that. And there, now that battery is gone, or at least harder to see, which I think helps a lot. Uh, let's go in and actually start playing around a little bit. I'm going to pull our highlights down. <laughs> that only happens at the Kia dealerships, Vigio. Pull our shadows down a little bit more too. Amp up our texture a bit and pull some clarity in as well. And then saturation on these reds, we're really gonna make that pop, I think. Same thing with the orange, cause there's more orange in that. Let's bring a grad in through the sky here. And just adding some more sky and a little more blue in there. That's feeling pretty good. And I want to actually try to bring some luminance into the blues on the wheels. And some saturation as well. I'm going to go back to my grad here that I did for the sky, and I'm just going to move it up. There we go. I think that's looking pretty good. I like where our greens are sitting. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Let's take a look at that full screen. There it is. You want a heavy vignette on this, Phoenix? Uh, Jerry, I didn't really, uh, not trial and error, no. Uh, not really formal training either, um, but I do uh, work in advertising and one of the steps in advertising that I work on most frequently is the color correction of the spot before it goes to air. Uh, something you may or may not know, but when uh, commercials are filmed, they're usually filmed in a pretty flat profile, so you don't lose any detail in the, in the blacks or the whites. Uh, it's a very flat, kind of bland kind of looking picture. But when you go in and you color correct, you can bring things to life and really change the whole look of a commercial just based on the color and the temperature and you know how, how everything is sort of um, 
put together. Uh, and a lot of what's done there translates very well to photography as well. And um, yeah, this is just sort of like, it's sort of a secondary hobby. I really enjoy photography and I really enjoy uh, photographing tiny trucks. And this kind of puts all of those things together. So um, yeah, it's just one of the things I really enjoy doing. Cheers. Hope everyone's enjoying their Tuesday. Uh, let's take a look at this one full screen again. I just want to do it before and after. Before, after, before, after. I think the biggest change is those leaves are missing now. Before, after. I think it just brings a little bit more drama to the shot, and I really like the crop that I put on there too. Um, so there you go. Thank you, Ryan, for uh, your submission. I think that's pretty awesome. Can't wait to get that back to you. Again, if you guys have your own photos and you want to submit them, submissions at skillbuildersguild.com. Uh, and if you do, uh, when you get these back and you do post them on Instagram, be sure to tag me. Uh, I really like seeing them out in the wild and uh, I like finding new uh, new guys to follow in this hobby. So uh, by all means, don't hesitate to tag away. I like the broken window too. I think that's, they're both pretty cool that's pretty good definitely nice and crusty and it looks like you did did you bob the the bed too if you did good job very nicely done all right uh let's move on to another one hey here's a toyota let's do this one this one's from robert senek Nice looking uh, TF2. I like the stripe on that. That's a great looking stripe. And there's a lady driving it. That's nice. You don't see a lot of ladies. Oh, who's coming to visit? Who's coming to visit? Come up here. Say hello. No, don't. Get, come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Yeah. What a good boy. Puppers. Eh. Yes. Oh, what a good dog. Are you all played out? Huh? Where's your dinosaur? Show me your dinosaur. Give that to me. Back up here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> he just put it on my lap. Here, take it. Take your dinosaur. Take him. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah, the dog probably would do a better job than Josh on most of these photos, if I'm honest. Uh, oh, Robert, you're in here. Hello, Robert. Um, hi, Craig. Uh, I need to finish a 124th. We haven't had enough on this stream. All right. Um, that's good. Yes, uh, this is a nice, relaxing way to do other hobbies. I love the live streams. Uh, yeah, exactly. If you've <laughs> once the dog arrives, you can hit the like button. My and Jerry, my dog's never he he's never been on the trails with me. Uh, he never comes with me when I shoot videos because he hates these things. He hates these trucks more than anything. He is a total goofball. All right. Uh, Robert, thank you for your submission. Let's make some magic happen. Uh, don't worry. This guy's coming back. But I'm just trying to make a little more drama happen here. I like your framing, though. I think I'm just sort of like trying to get a bit more truck central. Uh, but it looks really good. Nice photo. Good looking truck, definitely. Uh, nice background. Love the cloud cover in there. Let's uh, let's do a little rotation on this. I haven't done a rotate in a while. Just to get our... Uh... There we go. And we'll constrain that. That's better. Okay. Temperature wise, I feel like it could go a bit warmer. Uh, then let's definitely fix that sky up. 
a little bit. It's a nice looking sky. You don't get, like, it, I find that the cloudier the day, like this is a good, good example. Um, when it's cloudy like this, you get much better uh, reproduction, uh, especially of like a white truck when it's cloudy like this. There we go, a little more drama in there. That's pretty cool. I thought Canadians were supposed to be friendly. What did I say? Did I say something mean? <laughs> I doubt that I did. <laughs> uh, Overland RC, I haven't come up with a theme yet today. Um, I'm sort of just kind of winging it. Which isn't, isn't good. What was it? What was the theme last week? What was the theme last week? Was it, oh right, it was making the truck in color and everything else black and white. I remember now. All right, let's bring some more blue into this shot here and aqua and green. Not a ton of green in there, though. A red and white forerunner with an OD green marlin in front. Okay. I bet you that's around here somewhere. I don't know. I see a lot of pictures of trucks, but I'll find it, Mark, not to worry. And I'm just adjusting the highlights because when I brought more blue in, it took the blue that was obviously reflecting off the sky. Yes, Trevor, every week. Uh, and then, well, mostly every week. And then it was kind of uh, applying itself into the whites here. So I'm just sort of trying to get some of that white back by increasing our highlights a little bit. I'm going to lift shadow a little bit as well. Pull our blacks down a tiny bit. I'm going to add some more vibrance overall. And texture. So I'm going to dial back the texture and amp up our clarity instead. Every week till Matt takes a Josh break. Tomorrow is going to be interesting because I think I'm on my own. I don't think Josh will be participating tomorrow. Because uh, he's uh, out. He's out. He's out in a boot. Ooh, Robert, I do the same thing every once in a while, and I flip my Fairlead upside down. I don't know why, but I like doing it. Hi, Road Customs RC Mods. Hello, how are you? Uh, what else should we do here? This is the week. <laughs> Maybe we should do a week of, like, no corrections, or you only get to do one thing to the photo. That would be kind of interesting. But you can only do one thing. Ooh, that's nice. I might actually do a little bit more of that. Just like what it's doing to the sand. Just adding a bit more shadow and saturation to some of these elements just to kind of make it plop up and down so you get some more texture. Let's do another one of those brushes, but over those trees here. Some of these here, some of these over here, maybe those guys. And you can see I'm just pulling warmth into those areas. And then more saturation. So there's just a bit more texture going on back there. <laughs> You'll commandeer Josh's computer tomorrow, Joe. Okay. Well, I guess you know where he lives. 
Uh, one final thing with the paintbrush here. I'm just going to go into our grill so slightly. Let's give it a bit of a touch up there. Not strong on these things. If you're not seeing the email link. It should be in the description. It always is. It's not so much a link as it is just an email address. Um, all right, let's take a look at that full screen. That sky's looking pretty good. I like it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, Robert, you're so very welcome. Uh, this is, uh, it's my pleasure, honestly. I really love uh, this whole, this whole stream really just uh, chuffs me right in the Gulliver. Uh, before we're done with this one, uh, let's go into these highlight or headlights. See if we can't warm those up a little bit, because as we all know, Unless you're some sort of heathen, <laughs> you'd have nice old warm incandescent bulbs on this thing, and they would be yellow, not white blue. There we go. And duplicate that and pull it over here. And there we go. Much better. My, uh, no, Ricardo, I'll take JPEGs or anything. Uh, RAWs are preferred because you do have a lot more latitude when you, uh, when you have a raw photo, but I can work with JPEGs no problem. Quack, you're not late. Don't even worry about it. Just happy to have you here. Uh, Robert, did you uh, take all the uh, paint off of this bumper, or did you make your own bumper? Either way, very nice job. And I think that's going to do it. Let's see the before and after. I think we've uh, brought that truck to life. I think it looks pretty good. Thank you very much for your submission. Appreciate that, Robert, a lot. Uh, oh, here's another Toyota. Maybe it is Toyota night. This, wow, this is a cool looking truck. This one's from Michael Galloway. Uh, he sent me this one among a bunch of other ones. And I was like, yep, we're going to do this one. I love this cage, sort of uh, exo cage that he's got going over the top of it. Very, very cool. Uh, nice and aggressive looking truck with those 419 uh, Proline uh, KO2s. Uh, that's a good looking truck. I believe this is a Marlin. Yep. No, it's not a Marlin because that's got square headlights. Uh, but it's got a Marlin bed on it. I think. Anyway, nice little uh, put together truck there. It looks like it's on leaf still, so that's a TF2. Taco Tuesday. You know what? I, guess what I had for dinner tonight? I had tacos. <laughs> Is Matt making up tires? No, those are real tires. Proline KO2s. Are they not? And now I'm trying to read them. Yeah, those are crawler TAs. That's a KO2. I am not making up tires. It's a real tire. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do with this one from Michael here. Uh, we're going to up our exposure a little bit. Quack RC, thanks for the five bucks, man. Amazing work, man. Someday I'll get better. I'm sure your photo, I got a photo from you in here. We're going to correct it. Don't you worry. I'm sure your, your photos are just fine. I've got one. I've got a couple from over to see. Is that who was asking earlier? Anyway. Um, let's, uh, you are correct, J-Rock. You cannot go wrong with a yellow Yoda. Uh, and nice background. Great environment to shoot in. Nice little bit of sun among all these shadows. I really like the look of this one. It's oh, I you meant uh, me being able to identify them. Yes, uh, I am. I'm pretty good at at my scale tires. I must say, 
I think we're gonna go. I think we're gonna go really warm with this one. Calvin, you send your uh, photos to submissions at scalebuildersguild.com. All right, where was I? I'm pull these highlights down, and you see what's happening with the highlights, right? Go full screen for a moment here. In these areas here where the bright sunshine is hitting the truck, it almost looks as if there's no information there, right? Like it's totally blown out, not really seeing where it goes. If you pull your highlights down and there's enough information in the photo, you get those areas back which really helps because when it's blown out like this, it just kind of looks blown out. You don't really see enough detail. This way, you get some of that detail back. I think it really helps sell the look. Okay, back to sharing the app. Um, while I'm at it, uh, we'll just window this truck real quick here, but mostly around the bottom areas. kind of roughly kind of placing this window where I want it. And in that area only, I'm going to give us a little more saturation, but we're also going to lift the shadows. And you can see what that's doing, right? The shadows are pretty dark and rich and black. And then when you raise them up, you get a little more detail out of those tires, but you also get to see a little more of the underside of the truck without overexposing it. Because you could just raise the exposure up and see all those things too, but then you get grain and get really ugly stuff going on. So we don't really want to do that. Uh, plus, as a byproduct, you also get to see that these these tires a little bit more, and the wheels as well. And those are some nice looking SSD wheels with some scale hardware, which looks fantastic. Okay, so that's good there. Uh, let's go into our saturation on our yellows and let's really amp that up in fact in fact let's do this a slightly different way we'll toss a window what if there's a color picker something that i've always kind of wanted to, to see if there was a good way of using like a no that's not it okay never mind uh, i'm just going to paint in this area where the truck is and you're like oh you're making it worse i promise it's going to get better in that area only keep our saturation nice and rich and you see it's only affecting the area that i painted Go to our HSLs. There we go. <clears throat> I do like a yellow Toyota. That's my, my Marlin. I painted my Marlin yellow too, just to do something a bit different. And I'm happy I did. All right. Go oh, really vibrant. shadows up a little bit let's go back to our saturation on our greens bring those to life a bit more pull those oranges in too and blues too and you're like where's the blue in this photo well there's some in this rock right here so we bring that up you're going to get a little bit better looking rock chiquita yota I hope Josh is having a good time out there with his family. I was a bit worried about him doing any flying. But I'm sure he's going to be fine. All right. All right. I think that's looking pretty good. Let's throw a vignette on this one, eh? Nice heavy vignette. And then I think we'll also toss some grain into this photo too. 
go light grain and what that does and you can't see it probably on your television or your monitor or whatever you're looking at this on but um, it does kind of age the photo a little bit makes it feel a bit vintage uh, and I'm pretty happy with how that's looking some nice blues poking through this uh, Pacific looks like Pacific Northwest style forest uh, and uh, I think we're good I think that's looking pretty good let's go full screen before and after pretty uh, pretty excited about that one Overland there is no 62 <laughs> You might be seeing something I'm not seeing. Or you're reading the numbers wrong, maybe. Uh, regardless, uh, that one, uh, I think we're done with that one. Uh, Michael Galloway, I uh, hope you're pleased with that. I hope you're very pleased with yourself. <laughs> Did I say KOA2s? I'm sure I said KO2s. Maybe I'm losing my mind. I'm just going through the picks here, finding another one that I want to do. Oh, right next to this one, huh? Okay. Let me see what I got in here. I got a, I got a bunch. Hi, Big Red Bitch. How are you? Keeping well, I hope. Sorry guys, I'm just uh, I'm just sorting out a couple of photos here. Bear with me for a second. Yeah, I think I found the one that I want to do next. At least I had it here. Where'd it go? There we go. Mark Cargill. I found a photo. Yes, and Overland, I'll get to that WPL here shortly. Uh, great looking photo here from Mark Cargill. Uh, nice looking TF2 uh, Forerunner and a Marlin in green. Green Marlin. Very cool. Is it powered by Holmes's Hobbies? <laughs> uh, nice looking truck, sir. Great background. Great foreground elements, too. I love these rocks. I love this kind of moss. It's my favorite moss. Just always really pops in a photo once you get it going. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a good one. Thank you so much for sharing your photo. Uh, let's get to it. Oh, hey, Robbie Bobster. There you are, pal. Uh, $5. Thank you very much. Thanks for choosing my Raffi D90 as your thumbnail. Very nice surprise. I knew it was a Raffi body. I knew it. I could feel it in my soul. There was something different about it over the RC four-wheel drive one. It was accurate. Oh, boom, roasted. All right. What can we do? Start with a crop. Just a little bit. Maybe a little bit there, too. Uh, again. And I'm not criticizing, I'm offering constructive feedback whenever I say any of these things. 
but a good opportunity to brush away some of this debris or debris as they call it in formula one uh, it's always helpful to just get rid of some of those things really helps sell us the photo uh, but otherwise nice looking shot i like our temperature right where it is uh, exposure wise i'm feeling like we're pretty good there drop our highlights a little tiny bit increase our shadows kind of take your attention away from some of these things and i can try to paint these out but i have a feeling they're pretty big it might create a bit of a problem because it's adding another tire first of all i mean we could try that but i i feel like it's gonna look well no that's okay we can leave that there we go i hate leaves branches anything nature related you are absolutely right mike ew a bug <laughs> no i'm fine with nature i like nature it's the people who ruin it that i don't like Hi, Kevin Ju. Uh, should I paint my CCO2 gunmetal, metallic blue, or candy red? Well, I did metallic blue, so I say candy. No candy red. Uh, let's add some texture, huh? Why not? A little clarity. What I like about this, Mark, is that these scratches, I know they're real scratches, obviously, but it feels real. Uh, like uh, branch scratches i've got all kinds of branch scratches up and down my actual full-size one-to-one daily jeep so i know the i know the pain that's what you get when you go wheeling <laughs> cheating in my tj oh i miss wheeling i want to go back to there Someday, just darkening this foreground. They do add character. You're right, jo uh, Joe. Part three of the Gladiator build is coming soon. Uh, the, tomorrow, I am going to put out, well, tomorrow, maybe Thursday, I'm going to put out my G-Made Buffalo review, uh, which uh, is a surprising truck. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, but that will be a good review. Uh, I'll follow that up with a running video uh, probably on the weekend. And then uh, part three for the Gladiator, Ultimate Gladiator build should be next week. That's my hope anyway. We'll see how it goes. Uh, okay, so that was adding some shadow and some depth just to some of the foreground parts of the rock. Uh, oh, you got some funds to add more stuff to your Gladiator, huh? Excellent, Joe. Can't wait to see what you're coming up with. Uh, I'm just going to bring these tires up a little bit. I like seeing tires. These look like they're Baja claws in the scale size. And then we got some IROC. IROC, U Rock, The Rock. Very nice. Chicks dig scratches. Uh, Joe, I know spelling is hard. I feel like my brain goes faster than my fingers now as I as I age, which sucks because I've got so many things to type. I like tires. I think tires. Are my favorite part of this hobby i have a lot of tires i actually got rid rid i sold off a huge lot of tires i had everything in there uh, rc four wheel drive pro line uh some old axial tires hot six tires were in there pit bulls everything i had like tons 
and all sizes too, 2.2s, 1.9s, 1.5s, 1.7s, um, all over the place. Uh, I, I love tires. My tire collection is massive. Uh, I'm adding some saturation into our reds. You can see it really affects these sort of the highlight areas. I think is nice. I keep the hue of that red right where it is. Uh, let's get some more yellow going on in that background there. And green, I'm going to pop that as well. I think I'll go in and actually give this truck a bit of love on its own here. There we go. That's what I that's what I wanted. And what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? A little bit of orange maybe. Just playing with the blues of the skies. Mad Beast. Yeah, that's a good tire. I've been, I had a set of those. I tore them. Uh, my own fault, not Pitbull's fault. I tore them in a comp. You know, comping. <laughs> it's just how I do. <laughs> uh okay what a goof all right uh full size that's a good looking photo you got there mark i'm always comping joe just you know comp life <laughs> that's not true i don't go to that many comps uh before after before after and before after i think that's a nice improvement Straight out of comping. Sean RC Adventures. Oh man. I kinda <laughs> I kinda think that could be that could be the next shirt. Straight out of comping. I love it. That's really funny. Is that has anyone seen that before? Cause if you haven't. We just, I think we just hit a, a real winner. That might be a good shirt. I love it. <laughs> it's really funny. And yes, Travis, you're right. It really does. It's not so like legit when I giggle afterwards, but straight out of comp. And I got to write that down. Somebody send me an email because that's funny. <laughs> I am. I'm writing it down. Put it at the end of my, at the beginning of my to-do list. Comp and there we go. Done. Thanks for that brilliant idea. That's hilarious. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for your submission, Mark. I'll be sure to get this back to you. Hey, look. It's a tiny truck, and it's a Toyota. It's a WPL. This one's from Overland RC. Uh, you've been begging for me to do one of your photos tonight. Dreams have come true. <laughs> Tactical gold chain. Oh, brother. Uh, beautiful little WPL. I like the look of these trucks. I hate everything else about them. <laughs> if I could be honest, I'm being honest. It is sort of turning into an all Yoda night. That's sort of the loose theme, I guess. I uh, like your depth of field on this one, Overland. Uh, nice and uh, blurry background, nice foreground. I mean, we can't really do anything with the leaves, so we're not really going to try to get rid of them. I'm just going to go with it. But. Nice color balance, too. I really like where this one's sort of sitting. Uh, let's try to 
bring up the shadows a little bit so we can see that rear tire a little bit more. Add some texture into our shot, but not a lot because I still want it to feel pretty blurry. Um, SCX24 have a lipo cutoff in the ESC. It probably does. Aren't those little 1C? Are they 1C packs? I can't remember. Let's really amp up that vibrance. Are there two Overland RCs? What? Are you guys blowing my mind? SCX24 is a 2S. All right, thank you. So yeah, I would imagine it's got uh, lipo cutoff, yes. Uh, let's pull these highlight. Did somebody just say that? Ed Main, thank you. Uh, I was just about to do that. Pull those highlights down a little bit there. Uh, pull the whites up. Blacks down a little bit again. I feel like this one could use a nice vignette. Maybe a medium weight. Luke's RC Garage. Send your photos to submissions at scalebuildersguild.com. And Nathan's, that's funny. I actually, when I was racing in the altar races at Axial Fest, anytime I'd come around and John Schultz was announcing that event, he'd go, hey, look, it's the Scale Bombers Guild. <laughs> So for a short time there, I think I did a shirt that said Scale Bombers Guild. I've done Scale Quilters Guild. Uh, Luke, if you're going to send a photo tonight, I guarantee you I won't get to it. Um, just so you're aware. But send away. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll get to it. Yeah. Oh, Joe, totally. Every time I'm around jo uh, John Schultz, there is another dad joke. I mean, it's good that he's a dad, so it sort of works. All right. How's that for a crop? Feels pretty good. What button do I go to? Uh, email? I don't know. You send, <laughs> you send them to my email address, submissions at scalebuildersguild.com. Uh, let's... You know what? I want to change this blue a little bit. I want to go more that color with it. Yeah, for sure, Nathan. That's the whole kind of key to this uh, event or this live stream is to try some stuff, show you guys how to do it, and then hopefully you do it as well. Uh, I've seen... Lots of really cool stuff coming out of uh, some other people's Instagrams who I know are watching. So uh, it's really cool to see some things happening. You know, it's uh, it's it's neat to see people take over and, and do some stuff on their own and give these things a try. Push the clarity a bit, huh? All right. There we go. Um, hey, uh, Overland RC, thank you for not... There are two Overland RCs. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. Now I don't know whose is whose. But I guess this is yours, Overland underscore RC. <laughs> God, you guys are... You melted my brain tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, Overland RC, one of you. I don't know which one because I didn't label them that way. Overland underscore RC is the WPL man. Okay, copy that. Now I have to be sure I get this back to the right person. Uh, let's go full screen. I think I hit the wrong button. But I think we're back. Yeah, we should be back now. I literally hit stop the stream and then start the stream. 
all in one one go because uh, the stream deck my start stream button is right next to my full screen button so oops anywho uh before uh before after for after i think it looks pretty good thanks overland rc much appreciated 9 30 already where did that hour go all right let's get a couple more in here uh while i'm still in the mood <laughs> should i do one of the other overland rc photos I might as well. Is is this the other Overland RC? Please tell me in the comments. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad... Glad I got both of you in. All right. Nice looking uh, Defender. I miss my Defender. I sold it. Oh, I like your little uh, adventure rack on the back here. That's a nice looking little bit of work there. Looks like something you made up yourself too, which is excellent. I like seeing um, people putting their own spin on stuff. And these uh, these are not from the kit. Are these uh, night customs? <laughs> totally, Joe. I actually I just cut a commercial where they they were doing like a teacher doing a Zoom call thing, and I was like, "That's got to be the hardest thing to do because they're all staring at you the whole time in class." I'm sure most of them are sleeping. <laughs> all right, uh, let's do a quick crop here because I think that'll help a little bit. Yes. And uh, let's get a little more exposure in there. Uh, let's see what presets we can work with here. Let me do something a bit fun in that regard. Let's do this vintage instant one. It kind of warms up the blacks, puts a little bit of red in the blacks, which I think is kind of cool, especially for a defender. Um, Let's amp up the texture a bit so we really get to see those things come alive. Uh, one thing I'm going to do straight away, because um, I find it just just for me a tiny bit distracting, but your uh, your clips here being uh, neon definitely kind of take away a little bit for me from the realisticness or realism of the photo. So I'm just going to pull that down a little bit, and now they've practically disappeared. So that helps. I'm going to amp up our orange a little bit so we get a little more background. Going to window around the whole truck here. Bear with me while I organize this. I think it's pretty feathered. And keep that saturation right where it was. We're going to invert that one so it's affecting the outside only. Warm that all up. Bring that exposure down a little bit. <laughs> Snow trails, you are very welcome. Uh, he said, I want you to know that the tactical hip bag is the best fashion choice I've ever made. Thank you for an amazing product. Thank you for buying one. Uh, I much, 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 much appreciate it. Uh, I did it sort of as a gag uh just for josh uh and it's proven to be quite popular which i'm pretty happy about i gotta say all right uh so thank you for that much appreciate it pull our blues up a little tiny bit if you go too far uh it gets a bit weird you can see it in the tires so that's sort of a happy medium there uh, let's paint, let's paint, <laughs> let's paint a vignette in along here and along this sort of edge. 
Let's paint. See, look at that cool stuff happening in those rocks. Those are some nice looking rocks. Do the same up there and over there too. Yeah, that's looking pretty cool. Maybe we'll even do just a touch along there. Get a bit more in there. Oops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. More clarity. Uh, I'm, you know what? I'm pretty happy with the clarity there, I think. Um, I think if we go too far, it might start to take away from it overall. But it does look good, Ed. I like Ed's feedback. It's nice to have that. Thank you. Luke's RC Garage. Yeah, submissions at scalebuildersguild.com. Know it, Vigio? I think the time has come. Oh, well, thank you, Ed, for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, Mark Cargill had to rewind and watch the whole process. Thanks, Matt. It's a great rig. I've since changed and added a few things, but till uh till go up on my Instagram and I'll tag you in it. Hope you see a few you like. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I'm sure I will. Uh, okay, let's go full screen on this one from the other Overland RC. Before, hello computer, before, after. I think we've made some significant improvements. Very nice looking overlanding style Land Rover overlanding. Uh, hope you're uh, recovering well there, Travis. I know that uh, I've had the unfortunate luck of knowing a few people who, uh, or a couple people who haven't made it through this. So uh, glad to hear you're on the road to recovery. Not, uh, not fun. Certainly not something I'd wish on anybody. So hope you're feeling better. All right. Uh, one more time before, after. And there we go. Uh, that's a good one. Thank you very much, Overland RC. The other one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a good idea. An oopsie night. Uh, maybe like overturned trucks. or uh, We should actually do one. You know what I would love to see, actually? And this is this is something maybe I'll put out. I'll put it on the Discord and I'll put it in the community on uh, on YouTube here. But I'd love to see drivers posing in front of the truck. Not a selfie, but like, you know, like standing there in front of your truck like a tire like you got your foot up on one of the tires i think that would be awesome i would love to see that uh so let's make that happen uh get your driver figures out get your dolls out and play with your toy dolls <laughs> as josh would say josh doesn't like the drivers i think it's so weird that he doesn't like put a driver in his truck the date. I love him though. He's my boy. Here's one that I wanted to do, and this might be a good place to end it, actually. Uh, it is 940 after all. Um, but this one's from Quack RC. Uh, this is a really cool location. I'm not sure where this is. Uh, there's no geo tag in this one, so I won't I won't be able to tell you. But it looks like it's uh, some sort of um, area <laughs> where uh, many lines congregate into one space. Uh, yes, Shans, I, I got that one. Uh, and that's probably, probably why I saved it. Um, but, uh, or at least it sounds familiar. But anyway, yeah, let's do that uh, where we got like drivers posing i think that would be cool 
Josh doesn't like the drivers because they drive better than him. Oh, so good. Uh, but Quack, this isn't necessarily all about about um, scale, right? This is about photography more than anything. And tiny trucks is the subject. And you've got a tiny truck and a nice looking photo. So let's uh, let's correctify it. First thing I'm going to do is fix your horizon line. And constrain that. Get it done. There we go. Uh, I really like this. Tell me where this is. Uh, if you didn't already. Because I'm curious. I feel like actually, you know what? No, no, no. Oops, I don't want to do that. We'll just pull that sky down. We don't need as much sky. I think that still feels pretty good, just that, just like that. Hi, Matt from Australia. Thanks for checking in. Always look forward to Wednesday lunchtime. You're calling from the future. <laughs> Uh, but thanks for checking in. I'm glad that uh, you've got time to watch this during the day. Tomorrow. It sounds so weird to say that. But it's true. I'm just uh, doing some sky corrections here. And what else do I want to do here? Because this is a nice, it's just a nice photo to start start with. Um, highlights feel pretty good. Shadows, I'm actually, you know what? I'm going to leave the shadows where they are. I think it adds a bit more drama. Definitely more texture because this thing, this plate whatever this thing is must be like lines pointing to other places. A little clarity as well. Now maybe we will bring up those shadows a little bit. It's pretty heavily uh, in shadow, so there's probably not going to be a ton. A little more clarity for clarity's sake. I'm going to play with some hues here. Bring that green up. Bring that aqua up. Bring the oranges up. So this copper, it's copper, I guess. And uh, maybe do a light vignette. Let's bring the saturation on that red down. So it's not so in your face. Maybe even the luminance too. There we go. That helps a lot. Well, that's feeling pretty good. More, more clarity. I feel like Ed wants me to go a bit uh, HDR on this one. Uh, that's cranking it. It's starting to lose res though, so I'm just going to keep it sort of here. I think that looks pretty good right there. Uh, let's go full screen for a second. Wow. Uh, yes, Matt, that's correct. Uh, it depends on the resolution of the photo. If you're working with a raw photo, it's usually okay. Uh, let's do a little before and after. Before, after. Not a huge difference, really. Just kind of centers your eye a bit more and really brings some of the, the saturation to light. Uh, but that's great, Quack RC. Thank you very much for sending that one in. I think that's a nice looking photo. All right, 
Um, and with that, I think we're going to end this one. Um, yeah, I think I think we got a lot done tonight. Well, we didn't really. I think we only did eight photos, but it felt like a lot. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at all of them here. Uh, here is Michael Galloway's uh, Hilux. Go full screen on all of these. Before, after. That was a fun one. I like that one. Quack RC. Before. After. What's next? Robert Senek with his Toyota. Before. After. Guys, tell me which one you guys like the most. Which one should be pick, pick of the week? Put that comment in the chat. Uh, before. After for Robbie Bobster. I do like that one. I like that one. Uh, this cool one from Ryan Davis. This might this might be my pick. Before, after. Something really nice about the framing of this photo and the way it's looking out over the edge of a cliff. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, what do we got next here? Mark Cargill. Before. After. First of two Overland RC, but from different people. Before. After. The next one. Before. After. I like that one too. That one's pretty cool. I like all of them. I think these are all great submissions. Thank you guys. It's very much appreciated. Uh, some of the best times I've had on the internet. I think that's it. I think that's all of them. Did I miss any? I don't think I did. I think I got them all. There's so many more to come, guys. Uh, this is going to be a long, long-standing series for a while. Um, I think it's fair to say that it's pretty successful, too. I get a lot of people watching and submitting your photos. If you want to submit your own submissions at scalebuildersguild.com, uh, I go through them all. I uh, correct them live, like you just saw just now, and then I send them back to you. You can use them on Instagram. You can put them up in your uh, your bathroom, or uh, you know, submit them to be turned into a stamp. <laughs> Whatever it is you guys like to do. Uh, tomorrow, uh, light. No, I always say this. Tomorrow, live stream takeover. It's a full takeover because I don't think Josh is joining me, so it'll be all by myself which is going to be super boring or super interesting because uh, who knows what I'm going to be up to. Uh, but thank you all for watching tonight. Much appreciated. Um, thank you to Mark Cargill, Quack RC, and Robbie Bobster for the donations. Very much appreciated. Uh, not with uh, you guys here. It will not be boring. That is absolutely correct. Uh, and that's going to do it. Thanks, guys. Uh, it'll be a better looking and sounding live tomorrow. <laughs> Have a great night, everybody. See you tomorrow.